Hey, John, nice to meet Good you, to meet buddy. You, you too. You should break down the, the plan for me this morning. Shoot, man, I'm following you guys. I hope y'all know where you're going. <laughs> Mouflon, is that what you call them, them things? They look like some big horn Hawaiian sheep to me. sandwich and then deer hunting <laughs> pretty much in that order ready to go jump into the brush City, baby. That's nice of you. Don't you worry, mama. Call your telephone. Don't ask me where I'm going. All I know is where I'm going. I'm going to hold me Well, what's the verdict on the day? Oh, hey, boy, we chased the fuck out of them. Now we know what we gotta do tomorrow. Just a little bit better than today. <laughs> <laughs> Came close. Lunch bag. That's a great tip right there. Pizza, vacuum sealed. Doesn't get any better. Searching uh, for those elusive Hawaiian split-toed humpbacks. Hard to find, boys. Yards up straight up on those rocks, set up on two bucks. Missed him the first time. I caught him broadside coming across here. And Have you eaten access deer before? Be. No, never eaten any access deer. It's like the yeah. best meat on the planet. Yeah. So good. Good day, Remy. Yeah, it was a great day. Got a doe, got some meat. Now we're just gonna kind of get everything cooled down and let it sit for a day or so. Do all the processing. 
someone new. It's just so cool. You can kind of go places and just hunters connect over hunting, over food, over so many things. And it's not necessarily the type of hunting or where you're at, but we all share that common bond as hunters. Good job, man. Yeah, dude. What do you think? It's kind of buck. Yeah. And uh, we came down here and thought, oh man, be cool. It's our last day. Let's bring home some meat, get a good buck. It's been awesome, so I'm glad we ran into each other. That was fun, man. <laughs> Quite the meeting. Yeah, for sure. Sounded like Ryan shot something over here, so I'll head over there and check it out. That'd be sweet. Bring home another deer. I know he's pretty stoked to kind of fill his freezer for the season, for the year. Whether he's on the road or just on set, being able to bring some meat with him, I know. He really wanted to eat more wild game this year, and we'll go check on him, see if he needs a hand, and help him pack it out. Man, I, had to, I had to go about two miles down the canyon to get him, and another three miles out, <laughs> and he's in the mouth on that. Music, a little bit of tacos, fresh axis deer, fresh grind. We're gonna put some chilies in it. We've got it seasoned up already, some fresh garlic. I want some corn tortillas with cilantro. And, uh, enjoy. It's gonna be awesome. Heard them some, uh, you know, 83 foot breakers out there. I brought my 93 gun. And I charged an R&R. Let's go get out there. A good excuse. How's it going? How you guys doing, bro? Good morning. It was on that side. Headed out, going to do a little bit of fishing. Maybe jump in, do a little bit of spearing. While we're headed out, we're just got some lines in. Going to troll a little bit. We got some bait we could chuck a little bit later and maybe jump in and shoot a fish, but gonna try to get a little bit of fish on the trip as well. We'll see what happens. <laughs> what are you talking about? This thing tanks. Oh, he was fucking Where was my gap? <laughs> <laughs> nah, I think he ran into a rock. <laughs> well, we got a fish on the line, but he ran into the rocks. Janus is gonna go down and bust him free. <laughs> Uh, did you break me off? Uh, Shit, just another day at the office. Man, diving for them big fish, ain't we? Looking for them big fish. Right here, right here. 
fire on the deck with the little teriyaki sauce. You hungry, Ryan? Yes, sir. Dude, I got... We're going teriyaki backstrap. It's gonna be good. Um, definitely learned a lot from Remy, you know, and you guys just stomping around out there in the, in the mountains. Uh, um, looking, really looking forward to the to the next one, man. But um, yeah, just every part of just getting out in it, um, getting into this part of the world and you know, seeing the sights. It's a beautiful place to be. Feel very lucky, very honored to be here. So yeah, and to be um, eating this. Uh, Wonderful meat that you're yeah. giving to us. That's good. Right on, man. That was fun. Been a desperado on the West Texas so long. Well, I need a change. Do you even remember like the first song that you played for like an like a, cr a crowd like that that was your song? Dude, like, that was, oh, that Southside Heaven song. That was one the first one. Really? Yeah. 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 Like a desert snow. Like I, you know, I remember my uncle had heard it and I went up to visit him. He was living in Farmington, New Mexico, and I had played it for him. And I remember going home and him calling me, going, like, I, dude, I can't get that song out of my head. He's like, You gotta record that and like send it to me. And I was like, Well, I don't know how, how you know. And he, he ended up finding a friend of his that had a little recording studio in, the, in his garage in Hobbs, New Mexico. And, you know, I went in there and recorded some songs, basically just so he could have them. That's cool. You know? Yeah. He's like, <laughs> he's like, man, I want you to record these just so I can listen to them when you're not hanging, when I don't get to see it. You know? Dude. That was the only time I would play them. where the poor man lives. It's where I call my home. Can't you see? That a breeze. It's just a yeah, that's what I know. I feel like so fortunate. I'm like, I get to spend so much time outside, and that's like, it's one of the reasons I really like sharing it with people because I'm like, you know, I was like, I understand. Like, I I was like, I want to do this every day, and and I understand that like everybody can't do it every day. But I'm like, man, I, I like to be able to share those things, like those trips, those adventures. Yeah, I love hearing that kind of stuff. Like. You know, people yeah. say things like, oh man, you know, I was doing this or I couldn't get out this in like watching these videos and other mm -hmm. things. And it's just like, that. that's cool. That's the only reason that I do it. Like, I yeah. just like to, when I hear that, I'm like, yeah, that's like, that's the thing that I love. Mm -hmm. It's, you know, it's cool to be able to do the thing that you love and then share it with people that also love it. Yeah. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, it was a fun trip, man. I'm glad we made it out. Heck yeah.